Hello, this is Professor Sanyal. In this video, I'm going to show how to aggregate attributes using Rapid Miner Studio. If you are not familiar with the Rapid Miner Studio interface, you may watch my previous video on this playlist where I introduce the Rapid Miner Studio 9.3 interface. In this video, I'm going to use a data set, the Toyota Corolla data set, which I have already imported in the data subfolder of my local repository. This data set contains information on 1000 cars that were sold in the Netherlands. Um, and it contains the prices of those cars in euros, and then a number of attributes of those cars, including um, the fuel type of the cars, the age of the cars in months, manufacturing month, year, and so on. Now, if we can look at some basic statistics of this uh, data set, of these attributes in this data set by clicking the statistics tab over here. For example, the average price of these cars is about uh, 11,860. The cars, there are three different types of cars in terms of fuel type. If we click here, we can see that there are the vast majority of the cars in this data set are petrol cars, uh, but there are a few diesel cars and even a few natural gas cars. Now, from the statistics tab, while we can see the average price of all the 1000 cars in this data set, we don't see what is the average price of the petrol cars compared to the average price of the diesel cars compared to the average price of the gas cars. Now, suppose we want to find out what is the average price of each of these three different types of cars, then that is is not easily available on this um, page. So for that, we can build a simple process using an aggregate operator, which is what I'm going to show. So let's go back to the design view. And here we can build our simple process. So first we bring the data set onto our process panel, and then we are going to add an operator, which is called aggregate. So let's search. And here is our operator aggregate, which we can drag over here. Now, we have to tell RapidMiner what are the attributes we are aggregating on and what, what is it that we want uh, to see in our aggregate operator. So to do that, we can, we can tell RapidMiner all of that using the parameters panel, which is to the right. Now, first we have to tell it what is our group by attribute. So to do that, we click here on select attributes. Now we want to find out the prices grouped by the fuel type. So our group by attribute in this case is the fuel type. And those who who are those of you who are familiar with uh, SQL, this is very similar to the group by um, SQL statement. So in this case, we are grouping by fuel type. So we put uh, fuel type in our select attributes. Now we are going to tell RapidMiner that we want the prices of the cars grouped by fuel type. To do that, we have to click on this edit list for the aggregation attribute. And here we can choose what aggregation do we want to see. So in this case, we want to see the average price. So we select price over here and average is already selected by default. So we don't have to change anything over here. RapidMiner provides a number of different aggregation function. In this case, we just need the average. So we are going to say, okay, apply. And that's all we need to do to see the average prices of the three types of cars. So we can go ahead and run the process by clicking this button. And here it is. The average price of the gas cars are 10,071 euros. The diesel cars are the most expensive ones uh, with the average price of about 12,387 euros and so on. We can also look at some basic visualization of this aggregation by clicking the visualizations tab over here. It shows a pie chart of the three prices. The pie chart obviously is not very informative in this case. So we can change it to a bar chart. So we can click here and select the bar chart. And it shows the average prices of the three types of cars. The gas cars about 10,000 euros, the diesel cars about 12,000 and uh, petrol cars about 
11,000. We can suppose we want to magnify the difference in the prices in the average prices of these three types of cars. We can do that by modifying the y axis where we have the prices. So we can click here where we have the uh, y axis and let's suppose we want to cut off at the 9,000 euro um, price. So we can say y axis and the minimum value for the y axis we can enter 9,000 and hit enter and so it magnifies the difference in the average prices of these uh, three types of cars by uh, putting the baseline for the y-axis at 9,000 euros. Okay, so that was a simple aggregation. Now, I want to show another example of aggregation where we aggregate on two different attributes. So suppose we want to, we attribute, we aggregate it on fuel type, but suppose we want to find out what is the average price of four door cars with air conditionings. So if we go back to the results tab and look at the data set again, we'll see that the data set contains this attribute which is the automatic attribute uh, zero for this attribute indicates that the car does not have automatic and one in this attribute indicates that the car is an automatic car now this data set also has the doors attribute where the number of doors has shown so there are looks like most of the cars are three door cars but there are other car number of doors other cars with uh, five doors uh, and i'm sure there are cars with four doors as well now suppose um, we want to find out what is the average price of four door cars with automatic so that's what we want to see. So let's see how we can do that. So let's go back to design. So now our group by attribute is no longer fuel type. So we'll send it back, we'll unselect it, but we want to average, we want to find group by, by using the automatic attribute. So that's one and the doors attribute. So these are now our group by attributes because we want to find out the price of four door cars with automatic. So let's say apply, we really don't have to change anything in the aggregation attribute because we still want to find out the average price of uh, that particular car which is four doors with automatic. So we can say apply here. That's our process. We can go ahead and run this process and now what Rapid Miner does, it, it shows all combinations of those two attributes, automatic and doors. So it says that, oh, the cars with two doors and no automatic, the average price is 8,250. The cars with four doors and with automatic, this is what we wanted to see, which is four doors and automatic and the average price is 12,536 which is shown on the sixth row. Now this display is fine and it helps us to answer the question which is what is the average price of four door cars with automatic which we now know is about 12,536 euros. But suppose we want to show only this information only this row in the result. That is, we don't want to show these other rows that we are not interested in. So if we want that, we can filter out all these other rows by using an operator, which is the filter operator. So let's go back to the design and let's use a filter operator. So we can use this operator that says filter examples. So let's drag this to our process. And so we have a filter examples uh, operator over here, which has one input port and four output ports. The output port we want in this case is the examples port, which is already connected to the result. So we don't have to do anything with that, but we can tell RapidMiner 
how we want the data to be filtered by updating the parameters for this operator. So let's add the filter over here. So first we want automatic to equal one because we want to only look at the automatic cars. That is automatic equals one. We want another uh, constraint or another filter so we say add entry and here we want to say that number of doors should equal four so doors equal four so let's enter the value four and here equal to was uh, selected by default but there are other options possible such as not equal to less than less than or equal to greater than equal to and so on but we in this case we just need automatic equals one doors equals zero or do, sorry doors equals four and we say okay over here now if we run the process we only see the output that we wanted which is what is the average price of four door cars with automatic so that concludes what I wanted to show in this video, which is how to do some simple aggregation using RapidMiner Studio. Thank you so much for your attention.